Hey guys, so today we're taking a look at a frame armor set. This is an FME set, which means that it is just the armor and accessories and everything else except for the frame. So you can't actually build it like you see here, but this is for the Kagotsuchi Ko or the Type 48 uh, frame arms kit. One of the older ones, but it's definitely one of the most popular designs for good reason, very cool design. There's three different versions of it available as separate kits. In this set, it allows you to make any one of those three versions or any other combination of those versions here with all the parts that you need. You just don't have the architect frame included, so that is something you'll have to get separately, but we'll get into all that in today's review. Let's go ahead and uh, get into it. All right, guys, so we'll start off taking a look at the box art here for this set. And right there on the front, you can see the original artwork for all three units, the Kagutsuchi Ko, the Kagutsuchi Otsu Spencer, and the Kagutsuchi Otsu Sniper, all three units. The set, of course, includes Includes the parts to make any of those three versions that you like or a mix of those different aspects if you prefer and right there on the front of the box a photograph of the built kit just with kind of all of the equipment there attached all at once but on the bottom of the box here we can see what this kit is going to look like built up as either the original Ko, the Otsu Fencer or the Otsu Sniper. So there's how it looks if you build it up in one of those three separate ways. On the other side of the box, there's nothing really much else to see here, except we have the list price of a very reasonable 4,400 yen for this set. For this big, massive box and everything that you get in here, that is a really nice price. We'll go through the runners in a moment. Let's just take a quick look at the instruction manual. Because with this being a version FME release, there's really going to be no frills here with the manual. So there's no color photos or anything even at all. It's just straight down to business with our parts list right here at the start. And then it just kind of shows you the flow of construction depending on which version you want to make this as. So you'll start off building the frame and then build up the body on top of that. So all the different sections of the build and the weapons, everything's covered in here. The manual just ending on how to equip the sniper rifle there for the sniper type. And that's it for the manual. First up, we got some polycaps and a couple of soft rubber pipe detail parts. Runners A and also runner B are gonna be in off-white with a bunch of our larger armor pieces there. Same thing here for runner C, but we've got two of the C runner. Runners D and E, however, are gonna be in a little bit of a lighter gray color. Runners F and G, a couple of small runners here, also in our off-white. Now we're getting into the Otsu parts here with runners H and I. H we have one of, I we have two of here in light gray. Runner J is there in off-white. Runner K we have two of in light gray. We have two runners L, one one is L1 and L2. It's this little tag added on there on the side of the runner, so make sure you pay attention to that. But these are gonna be some of our weapons parts here for the Otsu. Same thing for runner M. We have M1 and M2 for some of the larger parts there for the weapon, as you can see. And then lastly, we have runner N here for the last few parts in off-white. All right, so after you grab yourself an architect frame, you can build it up here as, this is the regular Type 48, so I've built it up at the moment and then we'll talk about all the different option parts and everything that you have included with this but again it's all the parts to make it either as one of three different variants or you can mix and match parts of course to make it how you want so we'll take a look at a few different examples otherwise the kit in general is not a new kit and i have reviewed this kit on its own so if you're really only interested in the type 48 you can feel free to check out that review in this review i just basically kind of want to show you uh, what's included in this set and a couple of the different options of course there's a lot of different options that you can do in terms of mixing the parts around and then of course if you're wanting to kit bash by adding other parts from different frame arms kits or different MSG sets or anything else you might want to add with this, uh, different armor parts and things like that. There's definitely a lot of options there available for you guys. But as for the variety of different parts available in this set, let's go ahead and get into it. But all right, guys, let's take a look at its accessories. And again, just a reminder that that is essentially all that you're getting with this set as you don't have the architect frame to actually make it as this. You're getting all of the parts except the frame. And so it's kind of essentially all accessories really. But here are your weapons and accessories from the original Type 48. This would be just the shield, which is just made of, of these different sections and this piece here on the back, which connects them all and then a handle. So quite simple and of course, then you could omit some of these parts if you wanted to. Of course, you're gonna be showing some of that connection piece, but you could cut that off, modify if you wanted to have the shield smaller or larger, or use these parts somewhere else on the kit. They're just kind of universal shield type of looking parts that you could do different things with. And then it's rifle, which is pretty big and bulky, quite cool looking rifle design here. This has a hard point there at the bottom. This is also, of course, customizable. If you wanted to, you can remove these parts off the side. You've got other hard points right here. Same up here at the top. That part is removable 
as well. And of course, there's going to be seam lines on this and just kind of everywhere around in the kit. That's just going to be a given. I'm not going to really harp on that too much just because this is one of the older frame arms kits. So it's definitely got plenty of seam lines and some weak spots to the construction, I will say. Then as for the Otsu version, so here's the weapon for the Otsu version, which is just this kind of big super melee weapon, sort of like a big large sword axe kind of thing. It has these thruster bells there on the back. Obviously you're gonna hold it down here. Don't think that you're gonna be able to do a two-handed grip on this just because it doesn't really have the articulation built in and it's just too bulky to be able to get both hands on the handle of this but it's a pretty cool weapon nonetheless. And then we've got our option armor parts for that. And basically these are gonna be parts that are going to be going onto the front of the leg here. And I will kind of transform it as it were later on to show you guys how it's gonna look. These are your optional parts here for the shoulder these armor pieces like so. And then you also got additional armor pieces here which go on like the front of the torso replacing this section right there like that. And then we also have option parts for the head. So rather than this kind of like weird non-face like that, you have these optional parts here which will give you these kind of this like multi-camera there for the face which is pretty cool looking. Then for the Otsu sniper version, we've also got its gigantic sniper rifle here which is just going to kind of look like a big mess of parts but essentially the sniper rifle barrel can extend careful not to pull that part off the tip right there but that rifle will shorten to there extend to there the bipod legs will fold down like this at the front we get your main handle right here a secondary handle up towards here which doesn't move at all and a hard point right here and an additional hard point down here at the back I'm not exactly sure what that's for. We'll take a look at that. The overall length of this is gonna be about 23 centimeters in length, so quite large and long for your main weapon here for the sniper variant. Uh, there are a couple of hard points here on this side as well if you wanted to add some additional uh, armor or something onto there. And just a couple other things to note, for the hand options, we've got closed fists, then you've also got your standard frame arms hands, which are gonna be holding hands like so, and then some open hands, and you have all of those for the left and the right side. We got some optional pieces here, which are gonna be for when you're making it into the Otsu form, you use these instead of the ankle pieces right in there. So it's just different ankle parts, which make the ankles stand up a little higher, and I guess gives you a little bit better articulation there at the ankles, which would be nice. And then we have this connection piece, which is for connecting the rifle onto the backpack. So you can plug this up onto the back here and the rifle handle fits into like that and essentially turns the rifle into like a cannon of sorts. You could then use it up over the shoulder, something like that, or just use it as a way just for storing the rifle when not in use. And that's a perfect transition as we get into talking about the main kit itself. As you just saw, it came apart here, and that is something that you are gonna see with this with, admittedly, I don't wanna say a lot of the frame arms, but it is a bit of an issue with some of the frame arms kits, is that they're gonna have weak spots. Another weak spot of this kit is going to be here in the hips. This section, well, there's the head just popped off there. But this section right here is gonna come off kind of easily. So what I would recommend you guys to do, if you're fans of the design, you know, don't be too dissuaded by the fact that there's weak points around in the kit. What I would recommend you guys to do is just parts of the frame, and especially just like any parts of the kit that aren't meant to move, just glue them and then you won't have any issues at all. So just have a little bit of glue on hand and just glue anything that's not a moving part and you won't have any issues. But there's a couple other things to point out. Here at the back leg, you have these wheels which fold down like that and then the wheel actually extends out a little bit further like so. And then up here on the back side of the forearms, this part folds out and then you have this little part right here which is meant to be a stabilizer part to plug into the weapons. And so now like depending on the weapon, it plugs into the bottom here of the rifle. On the fencer weapon, it plugs in at the base right there. And then as we were looking at with the sniper rifle, that will, that will be the stabilizer part that plugs in. So you have the hand connected right here and then this part on the back side of the arm plugs into the base of the rifle right there. So that's what this part is that folds out from the back of the arm, which is quite useful. Anyway guys, let me just show you what the couple of different forms here look like that you can make with this. And again, as it goes with these kits, they're highly customizable. That's kind of the entire point of the frame arms line. So I'm just showing you a couple options. Of course, you can mix and match parts as you may like. And of course you can mix and match parts from other frame arms kits, from the MSG line, from the Hexagear line, from basically anything from Kotobuki is gonna be pretty easily cross compatible so you can mix and match as you may see fit. And although the Type 48 is one of the older ones in the line and does have some stability issues, like I said, they're pretty easily fixed 
and I think the design is so cool that it definitely appeals to a lot of people. That's one reason why it's kind of stuck around and has seen a number of different variants and now seeing this uh, FME version as well is because it is a really cool design. I can highly recommend you guys check it out if you want to build something, you know, it just has some, such a different look and such a different feel to it. Uh, such a really like walking tank kind of aesthetic to it. It's definitely a cool kit, but as the FME name implies, it is going to take a little bit extra modeling effort in it, but I think you'll definitely be happy with it if you decide to check this out for yourself. If you do want to check out the kit, you can do so at USA Gundam Store. We've got this and multiple different frame arms kits, of course, all kinds of different stuff from Kotobukiya there. For you guys, just check the link in the video description below. If you guys would also like to like and subscribe while you're here, that would be greatly appreciated. If you found the video helpful or informative, if this is the kind of thing that maybe you were not really too aware of, or maybe you hadn't seen much about it before, and now you're quite interested in it or you know you just found it interesting to see something a little bit different really appreciate all your guys support thank you as always and in the comments let me know which one is your favorite form between the original kagotsuchi ko or the type 48 just kind of as i generally refer to it as or the kagotsuchi otsu or the kagotsuchi otsu sniper variant they're all quite interesting and i do actually have the original version of the sniper as well that is in my backlog i have to build review for you guys at some point it's just basically like the full colored version of the otsu sniper but among the three man i have to say that sniper rifle is very cool it's such a huge and awesome interesting unique looking weapon i do really like that a lot that said the otsu fencers weapon is also quite unique as well it's definitely really interesting could make for a really cool weapon for like a customized uh, master grade barbatos or something like that i feel like definitely worth looking into but that's gonna do it for today guys thanks so much for checking out the video and i hope you all having a great day i'll see you all next time bye guys